Hey Libra, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Oh my gosh, guys, I've been um, really like meditating on your energy and pulling in what's coming. And let me say, I feel like it's gonna be a fantastic month for you. Um, I feel like you're really in your element, um, but I feel like you feel good. You're in a position where there's a level of unity, I feel like, in your life. I feel like this comes with friendship. It also comes in um, a sense of teamwork. And I, I don't know. I just think it's fantastic for you. With that being said, um, welcome. This should resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It could be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. And, um, oh yeah, cross-watchers, you guys are welcome. Sometimes you do have to flip the situation or the scenario. So just kind of keep that in mind, okay? All right. So here's what's kind of dope. I feel like right now, life is life is in a place right now where it's definitely in a sense of transformation, okay? I feel like your relationship right now um, is about to deepen, and I feel like there is something here with love that is going to transform things, and I feel like it's because you guys have a lot of passion, okay? There's definitely a magnetic energy when it comes to you and this person, and I do think, because you guys have this rhino energy... I feel like passions run high and there are times where conflicts happen. And I feel like for you, Libra, you have to figure out whether or not you want to hit it head on, like where you just want to bulldoze into it and just handle it. Or if there's a better way around certain situations that don't exude as much physical energy, but it's more of like a thought process. So, um, and this is about overcoming obstacles. And with the rhino spirit too, something's here where it's like, if something is not working or if there's multiple obstacles in your way, it's because you're being set up for something beautiful. And it's something that you may not even see right now. So just keep that in mind that there's multiple ways to get around things. If there's something that's in your path, it's really about taking a step back and figuring out what's the best approach. Because sometimes the best approach is to hit something head on where sometimes it's better to figure out if there's a way around it in order to not cause that sense of um, drama or pettiness or whatever else. I feel like conflicts are arising right now because of passion. I feel like you and this person, you guys have a lot of um, feelings for one another. And I think that when feelings run high, it's like things become magnified because it's like on 10, right? All right, let's just get into your reading, Libra, Libra, Libra. Um, what is the overall energy for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus romantically? What's the romantic energy for Libra? Wow, look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. Put these bad boys right here. Some of you Libras may be like a Virgo Libra cusp. I do feel like that. Okay. What is Libra's, uh, woo. Okay, Libra, hold on, get back in there. What's Libra's person of interest? When, when Libra is watching this, um, what is their person of interest? What is their energy? What is their energy or who are they dealing with romantically? Libra. Okay. Page of Pentacles. All right. Woo, that almost wanted to flip. How does Libra feel about this person? How does Libra feel romantically about this person? Okay. The Hierophant. And what is the current romantic situation between Libra and this person? What's the current romantic situation? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to say this. This is all Earth energy. This is all Pentacles. This is heavy Virgo, heavy Taurus energy. Yeah. Okay. So that's your current situation. For some of you guys, there's something that either somebody wants to say to you, Pisces, um, Cancer, or an Aquarius. There's something that this person wants to express to you because I feel like there's something here where maybe there was an issue or a squabble. And I feel like a squabble. What am I in the fucking 1800s? Um, anyways, 
I feel like there's something here where there was an argument and it's like trying to get back in the good graces or trying to figure out exactly how this works out between the two of you. Kind of interesting. I think that Aquarius had the Eight of Pentacles uh, last night for their situation. So some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius as well. It's heavy Mercury energy for sure. What's the best potential outcome for these two romantically? Best potential outcome for these two romantically? Trust. Love it. Oh, look at this. You know, look, this could be the one and wedding. I'm going to put these out here too, because I feel like they resonate. How about that? Catch me outside. Yo, that, that little girl was insane. I, I can't believe that. How many of you guys have kids in the comment section? What happens if your kid acted like that? What would you do? I just want to know. Because I have two boys, so I'm just curious. How would you handle that if your kid was off the hook like that? Question of the day. All right. What's the overall energy for Libra romantically? Okay. Lightning. And who is Libra dealing with romantically? Who is Libra dealing with romantically here? Okay. Kisses. And why is the Hierophant, or how, how does, how does, how does Libra feel about this person romantically? Heart with the key. Oh, Libra, you like them. And what's the current situation between these two romantically? What's the current situation? between these two romantically ascending love it okay passion is at the bottom addiction is at the top some of you may be dealing with somebody that is has an addiction or you and this person may have an addiction to one another I should say I feel like this I, I feel like your energy coming in ten of pentacles seven of pentacles this is an energy first of all it's mercury and virgo and then you also have um, moon and Taurus here, or no, no, no. I think that's Sag and Taurus. No, no, I lied. Just kidding. Saturn. Hello. I'm going to get, I'm going to get it together. Okay. It's, it's like five o'clock AM, 5 AM California time. So bear with me, but I feel like the earlier I record, the better it is. So I really wanted to do you guys cause you're the last of my air signs. Uh, um, anyways, I feel like this, I feel like this energy coming in, it's a very organized and it's a very disciplined energy when it comes to family and home. I feel like there's been a period of time where you've had a level of faith that whatever you were giving to, whatever you were nurturing, whatever you were investing in, I feel like that's all coming to the to the top. Like there is a completion here, especially with the 10 of pentacles, but it's like you're investing in your family. You're investing in um, you know, the fact that you've had to have a level of patience, right? You have the seven, here's the eight, here's the 10. There's definitely something here about that. And I feel like up to this point, you may have been extremely cautious. Like, I feel like for some of you guys, you're not talking a lot to people. I think that you're being very quiet. I don't know if you're telling your friends what you're going through, but there's something here about being very cautious and the fact that there's no wands or cups or swords, this is a very like, you know, it's almost like what you see in front of you is what it is, right? It's, it's, it's almost like the sky is blue, right? Somebody could say, no, the sky is purple because of A, B, C, D, and E. You're like, no, it's blue. Look at it. I can see it. It's blue, right? Two plus two is four. It's, it's that type of energy where... It's very grounded. It's very logical. Um, but I feel like you're not talking a lot. There's a lot of Virgo energy here. I feel like you're not talking a lot to people about what's going on. And I feel like because what you're doing is you're putting that energy into yourself and into your relationship, I feel like things are changing very quickly. I feel like there is going to be somebody here for some of you guys that comes out and says, hey, I want to be in a relationship with you. Let's lock this shit down. I also feel like, though, there is somebody that's even, um, for some of you guys, is definitely going to propose and want to say, like, hey, I want to take this to the next level. Where are we going from here? One card here, please, for what you want me to communicate about the overall energy for Libra. Overall energy for Libra. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a cancer or a moon in cancer, moon's in cancer right now. I feel like this Libra also 
you're just kind of taking a step back and you're waiting for that person to come to you. It's like, look, I'm, I'm the empress. Okay. I, I, I'm not playing any games anymore. You come to me. You want it. You come to me. I feel like it's that type of energy mm -hmm, with the two of cups. Yes. And I think that when you have that type of like, oh no, <laughs> you got me fucked up. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's that confident energy where it's like what you won't do, somebody else will. That coming in is ultimately what's, I feel like, forcing your partner to level up, especially with that two of cups. And that's Venus and Cancer, right? And for the overall energy with a Venus and Cancer, I feel like this is, this is a commitment. Absolutely. I think that this is an energy that is very secure, very comforting. Um, this is an energy where now you're paying attention to feelings, right? Um, you're paying attention to your partner's feelings. Your partner is paying attention to yours. And whatever worry you have about being left high and dry, I feel like that's changing here. And I feel like there's something here where this is very homey and this is a very romantic time, okay? Family can definitely be at the forefront here for this month. Okay, now for your partner, you have the Page of Pentacles with unconditional love, giving, receiving, falling in love. Can you give me some more information about their person of interest, please? Libra's person of interest romantically. Okay, death reverse. This can be somebody from the past that's coming back up, either an Aries or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Possibly dealing with a Leo, again, Sag or Aries. I feel like this person, let me ask one more time. Are they the page or are they the knight or king of wands? Are they the page or the king of wands? Which one? Are they the, okay, the king. Okay, so I feel like this. I feel like your person of interest, Libra, I feel like at first, there's somebody who is kind of like, I don't want to call it like a fuck boy, fuck girl or something like that, but it was somebody that just wanted to do that, right? It was somebody that was open to, uh, open to communicating, you know, was curious, but then at the same point in time, for whatever reason, I feel like that's ending here. Like there's something about you and this person getting together and then them turning into this king of wands. And it's like, they know what they want, Right. Especially this, it's like, this is for some of you guys, something new too, or it's a new beginning or it's a new cycle to something that's happening. And I feel like all of a sudden there is a level of vision here with where um, this person wants to go. What do you want me to tell them about this? One more card here for what you want me to communicate with Libra. What do you want me to communicate to Libra about their person of interest right now? Six of Swords, Ace of Wands, okay? If you're not, if you've not spoken to them, get ready, okay? Uh, that's Mercury and Aquarius. There is going to be communication that comes in um, from this person. I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere. And I feel like you guys are going to have a conversation about whatever challenges um, that have really stopped you guys from moving forward romantically together. I also feel like there's a level of growth and there's talks about seeing one another and there's talks now about where are we going with this? And I feel like there's a surprise for you, Aquarius. I feel like your person does because you have the moon with the page of cups here. I, I, I feel like there's definitely a surprise here and there's something that you're not seeing. How, how would Libra, whoa. How would Libra feel about this moon and page of cup energy? This person has a surprise for you. You, you don't, you don't see it though. Okay. That was reversed, but I'm going to ask one more time. How does Libra feel about the moon and the page of cups when it comes to this person? How does Libra feel about this? I feel like you're going to feel good. How does Libra feel about this? Yes. The chariot. So there's cancer's ass. Listen. I feel like this. I feel like you, this person, whatever they're going to do, okay, whatever they're going to do, I feel like it's going to force you if you are talking to multiple people, Libra, because that it's an air sign thing. I feel like air signs talk to multiple people, but 
I feel like you're really saying to yourself, like, this is it. Like, I feel like there's a sense of this is it. And I feel like whatever hurt has gone on in the past, um, when it's come to relationships, whatever pain has happened, I feel like you're leaving that behind. I feel like for some of you guys, um, this person may be physically moving in or you may be physically moving in with them or traveling to see them. But there's definitely something here about that. It's being very optimistic too. There's something here that you've really wanted, Libra, that's coming back around. Like this may have been a situation that you touched on like a little bit, right? Page of Pentacles where you you started talking and then something fell off. And now all of a sudden things are heating up very quickly. Look, you have, whew, shit. You have the Wheel of Fortune with the Queen of Wands, okay? Aries or Cancer, you also have Sag here. Things are changing. There's different cycles, I feel like, that are coming in, especially with that Wheel of Fortune energy. And I'm going to be honest, I love the Wheel of Fortune because the Wheel of Fortune is really acknowledging that everything has a time and a place, okay? And this is also a lot of karma, and it balances the light and the dark, and understanding that everything has a cycle, okay? Um, this is also, too, with this Wheel of Fortune, it's like no longer allowing this time to pass, watching. No, it's, it's no more watching, especially with this Queen of Wands. It's, it's being open enough and allowing life to unfold as it needs to around you, okay? It, it's pretty dope. I don't know. Um, but I feel like wherever you guys had that block, I feel like there's something that's pushing you guys forward, all right. How does Libra feel? Okay. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio, a Gemini, a Virgo, or an Aries. I think that you feel like this is your person. I think that you've taken quite a bit of time. Here's Cancer. Uh, you also have Leo here. I feel like you've really taken your time to figure out what you want with this person. And I think that you're really welcoming whatever they're bringing forward. I think that for some of you guys, you feel like this is the one that you can marry. I think that you feel like you and this person together would be perfect. I also feel like with the wise one, the magician, the queen of cups and strength, you, ver you view this person as very strong. I feel like this person has set certain boundaries, possibly, or they've tested you or you have tested them. And it's like they keep passing the test. I don't know why I think that, but I do. I feel like this person continues to pass the test. With the magician here, I feel like there's communication on security. There's communication on where do we go from here. I also feel like, Libra, this person is going to blow your mind in some sense with whatever they do. Because you feel like you've manifested this person and whatever ideas or whatever you wanted, whatever you communicated to the universe, that's now being brought to this physical world, right? And you have everything right now you need to create whatever you want with this person. And I feel like it's very like liberating in some sense. It's beautiful actually. I also feel like, too, there's a lot of thought that's going in here. If you and this person are not talking as much, I feel like it's because one of you guys are taking time to really evaluate the relationship and where you want it to go from this point forward. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for the current situation? Okay, with the world. All right, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, or Aquarius. I feel like this is a situation that you've had to work for. I think that whatever obstacles, whatever had you stuck prior, I think you having that faith, right, that you were going to grow even with the challenges, even with the issues of stability. I feel like for you guys, it's like you stood your ground. And you gave it an you 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 gave this an opportunity to do something, and now all of a sudden it's like it's working. 
And I feel like you had to have a level of patience, especially with the world here. Because I feel like the situation right now, it has to be very persistent. But this is a very practical situation. This is very focused. Um, this has a lot of strong emotions, I feel like. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, that's a lot of Virgo energy. So that's working on something. That's working towards something. That's understanding that if you want something, you have to you have to work for it, right? You Everything just doesn't come naturally. And I feel like that's the same thing for a relationship. Yeah. I also feel like whatever you and this person have worked on, take a look at this. You have the Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Whatever you guys have worked towards, there, there is a level of success here with this relationship. And I feel like there is a level of harmony here. Scorpio energy. Um, it's making you feel like nostalgic. And I feel like this can be definitely a reunion of somebody coming back around. That's what I feel. And I also feel like too, you're no longer disconnected. You no longer feel like, okay, this person has more work to do. Like, I feel like you and this person are really just reconnecting and really understanding what each of your roles are in the relationship and in the situation. And I feel like because of that, you're now going above these obstacles, right? You're now um, no longer stuck, right? There's no longer these conflicts. Like, I feel like this month is a very good month for you guys. With that being said, Libra, I love you so much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.